well about 60 horned melons altogether just from two vines that's not too bad plus we've eaten a couple so what about 62 about 62 horned melons and we've just had two really heavy frosts two bumper frosts in a row so I'm going to let the um, some of them are turning yellow already but I'm going to have to ripen them indoors it depends on the year this year we've had uh, heavy frosts quite early so some of them have actually got the ones that were up high on the vine were actually burnt we've got about half a dozen burnt so the rest are all perfectly intact and we're just going to let them ripen indoors in safety free and away from the frost look at them all Kalahari horned cucumber Kalahari horned melon all lovely all just you could probably eat them now most of them but we want them to have nice yellow attractive orange decorative skins don't we we do so many of them look at them all let's have a look at the ones that have got frostbite where are they we'll have a close look at them in a minute they've got frostbite look at them They're a little bit burnt see how they become sort of jaded and dark let's have a look at it up close This is a beautiful healthy melon that's uh, turning, beginning to turn orange as you can see. It's going to go yellow beautifully but let's have a look at these frost bitten ones. Here's a little small sized one. You can see that the um, it's been burnt by the frost there where it's gone dark. Where it's all gone dark around the top there. It's got that burnt look. I will use them for seeds or I could cut them open today and use them for it uh, on some ice cream or in a dessert. That's another one that's a bit burnt on the surface up one end. It's got that darkening, burnt, like, it's like when you burn a lettuce in the refrigerator or a tomato it goes dark or a cucumber, yes they are a type of cucumber. And this one here for example, see where it's dark around the stem so it will have to be eaten first otherwise that rot's go to spread all through the fruit but if it's eaten now or soon in the next few days it'll be alright what's that one? Oh, that one's just beginning at the tip they tend to get burnt around the top of the stem don't they? Oh, look here's another one that's burnt oh so thorny that one, you can see where it's, it's got that dark stain, that's burned from the frost. And it's just going to keep spreading, isn't it? It'll become mouldy. So they can be eaten soon. Oh, here's another one, I mustn't jab myself. As you can see, that one speed. That dark stain is where the frost burnt it. That dark stain is a frost burnt. So a few were burnt by the frost, but... The rest of them, what about 50 of them, are perfectly uh, saleable even if you wanted to sell them. They're going to turn yellow and they're going to turn orange indoors as well. Look at that one, it's turning yellow. But they look more attractive when they go yellow or orange. They do. The damaged ones there can be uh, used for seed or we can rot them down and use them for seed or just start eating them straight away. And as for the rest, they can all be ripened indoors. Aren't they lovely? So many of them. Just from two vines here. All from two vines. That's what, about 30, 35 fruits per vine. It's not too bad. We can't leave them out there to get burnt by the frost now. They'll just have to ripen indoors. Under shelter. Out of this world, aren't they? Really out of this world, off from another planet like I am. So that's the end of this year's horned, horned melon growing venture. As you can see, the vine is all burnt now from coldness. The vine is just all dying off. And that's the end of the vine and the melons up high were getting all burnt by the cold frost
Well, that's pretty good. Four boxes of high quality ones. And a few that, that have got to be eaten straight away or can be used for seed next year. That'll be pretty good. They can be used for seed, rotted down. So that was pretty good overall, wasn't it? Don't they look like little pineapples in a way? See you then.